the thing that happens at this meeting is that, you know, of course, Deanna Troy uh, announces she's pregnant. Yeah. And then Riker is the most scared we've ever seen him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. <laughs> Counselor Deanna Troy is pregnant. She, she is going to have a baby. Baby. <laughs> for Picard's even done talking. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, cuts yeah. him off because he's yeah. terrified. He's the father. And you see him doing. Quick, you see him doing quick math on his fingers. He's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, no, no, no. Oh, f***ing Riker. And uh, they they go get the captain, and the captain's talking to her about this baby and all this stuff. And they go back to look. He goes with the doctor to go look at the baby, and the baby's goddamn f***ing eight years now. Yeah. Please don't worry. Everything is okay. Okay, but real quick, whenever a tiny child that's only a day old tells you to please don't worry. Oh my God. Oh, that's, that's a yeah. very <laughs> solid reason to start worrying. That's yeah. very specifically in my notes. Yeah. <laughs> Where I was like, no child should ever tell you to don't worry. Everything is okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, even, that is, even, that's when like, some, the, when, even when there's nothing to worry about and everything's okay, they should never say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. And then they get sent over to the to the Yamato, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then sister, but but they don't they don't appear together. They're like they 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 f-ed up. This guy sucks, dude. Is a f-ing truck, dude. <laughs> and he he put them in separate rooms. And 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 so Riker's like, oh, f-, dude. Uh, it would have been great if he said, "Damn you, O'Brien." <laughs> yeah, damn you, O'Brien. <laughs> and they they're having the bridge has trouble communicating with them. Mm-hmm. And and f-ing, the transporter is like, I lo- I lost the lock on them. It's like, yeah, because you're a f-ing shitty <laughs> transporter, dude. Miles it's all behind. Miles. <laughs> yeah. Poor Miles. It's just it's his first day there this season. No, he was there last episode. He oh, did. Shit, you're right. Never yeah, mind. Yes, he, he has. Damn no it, excuse. Miles. <laughs> oh, Brian, um, you drunk. <laughs> yeah. And so as the, the thing closes, uh, they finally get them back. And then Riker comes in. He's like, Riker's f-ing scared as shit, dude. He's like two f-ing Rikers, dude. I could barely stand myself, dude. Can I do another one? And he comes in and he's f-ing upset, dude. Yeah, I've never seen him this like work. Yeah, up. he's just like, I've had it with this. Use this yeah. technology to get us out of here. And then he walks <laughs> off screen. But then yeah. it pans over to Picard, and Picard has this strange smile on his face. Where Picard yeah. is like, yeah, I finally got him or something. Yeah. I don't understand yeah. why he's smiling because it makes it seem Picard is super sinister or something. Yeah. And he's the one actually doing all this. It's yeah, really it does, odd. It, it I don't weird. know why. Yeah. And so Deanna Troy is like, she's kind of feeling something, perhaps something intelligent, but there's no readings. So th- it's a real conundrum. And so then they're like, uh, what, what could it be? I don't know. And then this f-ing, the Geico f-ing lizard shows up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's like a, a, a hello friends. Uh, don't be scared. I'm just a lizard. My name is Rango. And <laughs> you're mixing so many things, man. What are you doing? <laughs> They're like, why are you why are you so alarmed? I I've gone to the trouble to look like you. And and I'm like, no, you look nothing like a human. You look like a weird fucking ghoul, dude. <laughs> Yeah, he he doesn't look anything like a person that we're used to. If this is what you think a human looks like, you you need better eyes, sir. Yeah. So they get all suited up and they head into the holodeck. And of course, Jordy's gonna be Watson and Data's gonna be Sherlock Holmes. You know what this feels like to me? This feels like the beginning of a wishbone episode. <laughs> <laughs> and Data is wishbone. <laughs> I guess because <laughs> Wishbone has been Sherlock Holmes too. Oh yeah, but, he, but like it's usually it's usually like framed in like this like hey out in the real world they're obsessed with like this thing in this case the ship. <laughs> but in the meantime, let's let's go have a goddamn adventure over there with with the main character in a Sherlock hat. <laughs> What's the story, Data? <laughs> we see the Doctor and Moriarty, and so Picard's like, "Hey, are you okay?" And she, the Doctor's like, "Yeah, I'm fine." She seems like she's drunk, by the way. <laughs> yeah, because she can, a little she, bit. It almost looked like she was like caught post makeout with him or something. Yeah, she got yeah. up and like kind of put her clothes back on a little bit. It was like a little unfurled, and she was like, "Oh." And then the Doctor and him have one more time, and he basically says, "I'll, I'll see you once again." He, Moriarty tells the doctor, and the doctor's like, "Well, 
by the time like we figure this out of how to get you out, like they, they definitely have a thing, dude. They definitely yeah, have yeah. A thing. she's like, I yeah, might yeah, be yeah. an old yeah. woman. Yeah, and she, and she's like, I'll be an old woman by then. And Mordor is like, well, I'll still fill you up with crumpets, madame. Which is uh, if you know I'm what I mean. Gonna, I'm gonna cram them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dicks. And so he goes, hey, point me to the direction of room eight hundred six. Mm. And he's like, oh, it's right, right here, right, right in front of you, dude. This is what the whole scene we've been doing. <laughs> and then you you realize that, that room is Terry Hatcher's room, if you know mm. what I mean. Mm. If and if you look at the number, the number, the full number, he asked for eight hundred nine or something. But when the doors open, the number is 080669. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh. I, I paused it on that shit. Dude. <laughs> I could nice. spot a 69 anyway, dude. <laughs> you could spot a 69 from a mile away. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> okay, I'm going to say something that might be controversial. Mm-hmm. But on certain angles and close-ups of this guy's face, he actually reminds me of Wesley a little bit. You know what? Ah, yeah, I was going to say that. No, I can yay. see that. I was going to say that. There are scenes where they're together, and I was like, whoa, this guy, maybe this guy is Wesley's dad. We don't know. <laughs> I know. You mean he's Bar- allegedly f***ing people left and right. So Beverly that's Crusher's true. Not, Beverly Crusher is not here to, to be like, oh, Joe, you- oh my God. Oh, oh Kana, what O'Connor. are you doing here? What are you, <laughs> yeah. what are you doing here? And she gets all flesh. Uh, flesh. First of all, I'm going to play the clip. That's actually Picard responding to Riva. Listen to me. You are not alone. <laughs> Do you understand? We are all in this together. The performance kind of came off to me as suspect. And in fact, it reminded me of that scene from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire where Dumbledore yells at Harry. Harry, did you put your name on the Goblet of Fire? In the movie, right? But mm-hmm. then you read the book. In the book, Dumbledore calmly asks Harry, Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Yeah. And I wondered if this was the same thing. So I tracked down the production script for <laughs> this episode. And this is the exact line in the production script. Picard sees the panic in his face, tries to reassure him. You are not alone. We will solve this together. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> that sequence where they're doing sign language yeah. and you see the, the, the hands on the screen. Oh yeah. Why, why does every gesture look like a sex innuendo thing? Oh yeah. It's like a when finger he, going like, faster, into another faster, faster, <laughs> faster. <laughs> yeah. What's funny is that it just loops like the same like six or so. Yes. Well, yes. They, they have just to make a lot. These faster. are probably yeah, but one is like an X and the finger is going in the X. The other yeah. is like a pinky going up and a finger goes into the pinky and it's yeah. just like it's faster little, and more when, intense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What do you guys they, make of that expression Dr. Pulaski had as Jordy walked away from that yeah, scene? Yeah, it's a little weird. It was a weird smile she had. Yeah. All I can think of is that she's like, I'm holding, camera's holding on me. I can't turn because <laughs> camera's yeah. on my face. So I got to yeah. do some sort of expression. Yeah. So I'll smile. And <laughs> or she's like, well, he's under. I'm going to get him naked and see what's going on. Or she's like, I'm going to give him blazer. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give him blazer. <laughs> It's going to yeah. be She's just sick. secretly <laughs> plotting. <laughs> I'm going to give him the sickest laser eyes, man. Yeah. He's not going to even know he's got them. I'm going to give him Arcana <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and activate and he'll have a big laser eye. Yeah. <laughs> so they get in there and, and Jordy's got a beard. I mean, not, Data's got a beard. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> that would be cool if Jordy had a beard, though. <laughs> Oh, yeah. spoilers. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have always been a little suspicious of men in beards. Another thing about that Clockwork Orange test, she says it's the same thing you get at the Starfleet whatever thing, but it was very personalized. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Starfleet tests, as we saw with Wesley's test, is extremely personalized as well. Yeah. So okay, that is true. But she had the time to like engineer like a, a folder of photos. No, she had the computer do it. She said, "Computer, make a personalized psychological clockwork orange test for." Okay, data. we have established that the computers are <laughs> gods, so they can pretty much do anything you ask of them. Yeah, yeah. They can yeah. speculate when you just tell them to. She's computer, like, "Computer, <laughs> merge this world and Star Wars together." <laughs> <laughs> oh God, we just got J.J. Abrams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember when Spock yelled Khan? <laughs> <laughs> what a great moment. 
Uh, remember all of the interviews with J.J. Abrams leading up to that movie, saying this movie is not Wrath of Khan? Yeah. Don't be stupid. Benedict Cumberbund is not Khan. And then he has the moment where he says, my real name is Khan. And the characters in that scene should be like, okay, your name's Khan. So? Like, it means nothing to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, your name, real name's Khan, whatever. It'd, like, it'd be like if I told you my real name is a Marvin, it's like... It's Tim. It, it's Tim, yeah. Okay. You've been Tim all this time? <laughs> yeah. My oh, God. What? You lie to us. We don't care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Picard's like talking to Counselor Troy about like, what does she feel about the doctor? It's funny because Picard asks, hey, how is she? And Deanna Troy goes, I've never met a more dedicated physician. Yeah. And I've met Beverly. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so she's basically saying Beverly's Beverly is trash by comparison. Well, well, it's yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Look, I think they kicked her off. I think they were like this. They're like, how many f***ing out- outbreaks? And closer to the time we've been. I think yeah, we gotta we, let her go. And you let three pandemics happen. In my head, I think they're like, they're like dude, she's been here for f***ing like couple of f-ing months and like she's almost killed us how many times i think we yeah. had to give her the boot and she f-ing spawned this piece of shit uh, <laughs> they're like i say we go back in time and then <laughs> oh, boy. i went too far um but not for wesley um <laughs> And then uh, Riker meets the second officer, Shao Kahn. And um, <laughs> it's literally Shao Kahn. Yeah. yeah. Riker's like, what did you want to tell me, you f-? And he's like, I don't believe you, you piece of s***. And he's like, really? You're challenging my authority, you piece of s***. And then he just f-ing beats the shit out of him, dude. Yeah, he annihilates him. Yeah. Like, he can take out this super strong Klingon warrior, but yeah. this old man with adrenaline from conspiracy but this yeah. old man though he had not only did he have was he juicing dude but he also took mm-hmm. a bunch of viagra so he had like so much power dude he was hard everywhere yeah vitamins make two wonders with the body the first funny moment is when shao Kahn's like maybe our food's too strong for you dude maybe one of these ladies can give you some breast milk ah! <laughs> and all the lady klingons are eyeballing him dude they are inquisitive they would like to know how you would endure. Endure what? Them. One or both. <laughs> and then they laugh, dude. I may be back for you. <laughs> Basically, Picard tells Data that, hey, I've challenged the ruling. And I'm going to defend you, basically. Yeah. And then instead of going and preparing, yeah, this motherfucker goes and, and <laughs> like goes to fence. Okay, so that's one of the few things that were cut that I think made sense to have cut. Yeah, the fencing scene. They would have put himself literally him measuring his dick, and I would have been like, that makes sense, dude. Like he's like got to get confidence in measurement. Cool. Now we can go in there. But no, fucking fencing did bull- dude <laughs> so the next scene is him talking to Guinan. he's like oh i got this problem she's like what's wrong he's like i went fe- i went fencing <laughs> <laughs> i should have been preparing for this case and i went fencing instead I went fencing with my friend tim <laughs> but then he says can you turn off a man basically like you can turn off mm-hmm. a, a machine a computer and he turns off data because because basically what he had seen in the logs is how to turn off data yeah. The only way he could have found the button, because Data told Beverly Crusher in secret, is that Beverly then betrayed him immediately yep. and put, put the schematics. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I'm going to upload it to the internet. <laughs> She's the, the, what is it? Is it Paula Poundstone? 
Paula Poundstone? Uh, who's the girl that read it out? Monica Lewinsky. Paula uh, Poundstone's I... an actor. Is it? <laughs> 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 oh boy. I'm, I'm sorry, Paula. Paula uh, Jones was her Paula name. Paula Jones. That's it. This is what happened with Beverly Crusher. She's a goddamn <laughs> Paula Jones. She, Tina's like, this is how you turn me off. And she's like, cool. I just recorded that, uploaded it to the internet. <laughs> Well, now uh, I'm really turned off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, consider that in the history of many worlds, there have always been disposable creatures. They do the dirty work. They do the work that no one else wants to do because it's too difficult or too hazardous. And an army of data is all disposable. You as their leader, you don't have to think about their welfare. You don't think about how they feel. Whole generations of disposable people. He's talking about slavery. I think that's a little harsh. I don't think that's a little harsh. I think that's the truth. So there's several things going on to me, at least. So one is that obviously they're having a great acting scene in general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to me, this is where you kind of lose all of the fears that Guinan is like a magical black Negro character. Because to me, the fact that she is black makes this conversation integral. Like mm. it wouldn't really work correctly if he wasn't talking to a black person. I would say that the only complicating factor is that Guinan herself, like in world is not right. He's like, she's an alien. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She, she's not supposed to be like a black person per se. Right, but but it's 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 she's an alien. She's an alien. Well, are you spoiling something, dude? God damn it! I guess I guess you don't know for sure yet. Uh, Well, I mean, like up up till now, she has been painted as a completely mysterious character. You don't know what or who she is. Right, she could be literally anything, but except uh, except like a Gungan or something. Well, Gungans, oh, are the, no, Gungans are no. the exact opposite yeah. of what's going oh, on boy. here. That's what I'm saying. She's not a Gungan. <laughs> yeah. Th- th- thank God she is yeah. not. Oh, yeah. my God. Can you imagine if Picard went up to J- <laughs> Jar Jar Binks for advice? Yeah. And Jar Jar Binks gave yeah. the same, like, general, oh, like... Misa yeah. think is slavery. You know, yeah. like... It was, Oh my god. Well, hold on. We skip past the part where uh, Maddox puts his hand on the thing and starts reading off all the things that he is. Oh, and yeah. Picard's just like, oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. Forget that. Shit. We know. Yeah. We know. It's fine. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Forget that. Dude. You don't probably don't have any medals like this guy. Oh, you're the chief robotics at the DeVry Institute. Yeah. You went to, you went to, you went to ITT Tech, I see. They got a, like a new lady crew member in the front. And I haven't seen this lady before. And Riker, he's going to say, go down to impulse power. And he's about to touch the new crew member seat. And he kind of like realizes like, maybe I shouldn't touch a seat. Like, what do I do? So he like swipes at it almost. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it's one of those things where you're like, you're expecting like a coworker that you know to be there. And you're like, I can tap your shoulder. But then you're like, oh, wait, oh, no, this is Uh, usually there's a young boy here. (laughs) This episode is just a series of scenes. Like, yeah, they don't really yeah. connect. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you deleted this episode from the canon, it'd be fine because I guess Wesley would also avoid his, like, first kiss ever with her. And that's fine because who cares? Yeah. You know, I mean, we all know his first kiss went to the Traveler. Yeah. <laughs> really. He's like, don't tell anybody. Let's go into the transporter room. I heard it's empty. Oh, no. Next thing you see is fucking war fucking yelling, dude. <laughs> that is how the Klingon lures a mate. He's like, this is like a chick. <laughs> it's like he just reenacted that Harry Met Sally scene on the bridge. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't have what she's having. It's a Klingon version. You know what really bothered me? Like, there's like five times in a row where Wesley goes, well, one day you'll get to go there too. Yeah. And she keeps saying, no, I can't. And he doesn't ask her why. No. He just He's, keeps repeating, well, you know, one day you'll get to see it too. Someday you'll visit Russo 5. Someday you'll see it all for yourself. Think of all you have to look forward to. This is a great time to be alive. For you. For both of us. Like, he's not a good listener. No. He's a, he's <laughs> a daft, daft <laughs> bitch, dude. So he sits her down and then they all go to the table. You are the most beautiful woman in the galaxy. You don't know how long I've wanted to tell you that. But you're afraid. Yes. Of me? Of us, of what we might become. 
Commander? Is it as much as you hoped? To hope is to recognize the possibility. I had only dreams. <sighs> dreams can be dangerous. Not these dreams. I dream of a galaxy where your eyes are the stars and the universe worships the night. Be careful. Putting me on a pedestal so high you may not be able to reach me. Then I'll learn how to fly. You are the heart in my day and the soul in my night. I don't think this is my style. Shut up, kid. <laughs> Tell me more about my eyes. <laughs> it's like, I don't yeah. usually get to flirt this aggressively. I'm going to take every second of this that I yeah. can possibly yep. take. They're basically in the quantum zone. And <laughs> you see like the lights are shutting off in their ship and like things are going haywire over there and they can't figure out. And, and immediately again, dude, I fucking hate this about this goddamn show, dude. I like this show, <laughs> but I hate this that no one goes, Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like we our technology. Let's just fucking back the fuck to up. Be fair, to be fair, to be fair, actually Deanna Troy does say, maybe we should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> But, but no one listens to Troy. No one ever no, listens no, to her. No, no, no. <laughs> They're going to use a tractor beam to suck it in. And then Jordy figures out that like, oh, if oh, we, sh- it's going to fuck us up, dude, if we use a tractor beam, because then we're completely fucked. Yeah. This virus will just take us all over. And so he gets the turbo lift. And that scene is funny. This this episode's worth yeah. it for this scene. It, it starts off almost J.J. Abrams like with like the running through the ship. That's very yeah. Abrams. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then you get into the turbo lift and then yeah. it becomes a comedy. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's funny because, you know, like in Abrams, when they're running through, it's like 20 people in the way. He says, get yeah. out of the way. Get out of the way. When Jordy runs through the hallway, it's like one guy. He's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Picard rolls up to Jordy and he's like, hey, what have you guys found? And fucking Wesley is all up in fucking Jordy's business, dude. Yeah. All up. And you see behind them, all the consoles are open, dude. All of them are open. <laughs> like, fucking Wesley couldn't have jumped into the, the just next one over. Just All the urinals are open, but Wesley needs to go up to the one right next to you. Yeah, yeah, dude. He's that type of dude, dude. Wait, we also skipped by a part that I kind of like. It's when Picard and Deanna like look up the ebook. Oh yeah, and try to like <laughs> yeah. you know, start, start reading it oh, again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You immediately Guys, start again. Yeah. Deanna Troy, get another. Console, don't read the. Goddamn book. <laughs> what if I finish this page before that's you true. do? That's true. That's you true. find your own fucking <laughs> Kindle book, yeah. dude. Let me <laughs> read at my pace. Also, notably, he uses Deanna to track Riker's emotional state. Yeah, I, I thought that the was episode. Neat. Yeah, uh, imagine if Riker had like one of those holograms, and, and he said, <laughs> the card's like, "Give, give me Riker's emotional state," and he's like, "Oh God, he's, uh, he's well, very he's, happy. He's wistful. Yeah, <laughs> he's wistful." <laughs> Very happy and wistful in the same sentence. Is that how you feel when you're having sex? You feel wistful? <laughs> I mean, maybe afterward. <laughs> he gets called in and again, there's always something out there hailing them or some bull thing. And they never learn. These guys never learn. <laughs> They're always like, well, let's poke at that. See what happens. Let's, let's, let's pull that thread. And it's like, well, That'd be hilarious if they find the shuttle and they're yeah. like, why is it doing here? Yeah. And Picard yeah. goes, I don't know. And I don't care to find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he turns to Jordan. And he's like, I can't see anything. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> and then they just <laughs> fly away. Delicious. 
And then you have like a really, really tiny plot, which is like the Enterprise is being inspected. Well, that one's like barely addressed. It's more of a way to get Riker family together pretty much. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yes. I hate that part. We didn't need that part. We, they could have just been like, hey, we're picking up this civilian that is like an advisor and blah, blah, blah. As usual, we'll Uber them to another base or something. Exactly. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> we get it. They're Uber. And then you look really closely at the window to see if it's purple like your phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It says the pilot's Wesley. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> you have a negative rating somehow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he, he tried to give somebody Ebola virus. Uh, <laughs> That's uh, one of the reviews. <laughs> yeah. Fast driver, yeah. nice use of charging ports. Try to give me Ebola virus. Yeah, I don't so, know what that's about. Yeah. I do want to point out a couple things about the arena. Over on the banners on the right side corner, it says Urusai Yatsura, which is noisy, annoying people. <laughs> <laughs> that's, awesome. that's awesome, dude. But I believe that's actually supposed to be a reference to an anime series called Urusei Yatsura, which is just a variation on the same words. Oh, man. And that is where, if any anime fan is listening, that's where the character of Lum comes from. She's Mm. the tiger bikini wearing green haired. She's on future funk albums. You can find (laughs) her. Her name in Katakana is on the left side of the ring. And another oh. character's name, Ataru, is on the other side, the right side of the ring. And in the middle of it is the kanji for Hoshi, which is star. So whoever designed this set was a really big fan of Urusei Yatsura. The other storyline is that Data makes contact with this little girl, mm-hmm. which is weird, dude. Think about it, dude. He makes contact with this little girl. Yeah. And then he goes to her house, dude. He That's still goes true. To her house. Wait, wait, dude. He kidnaps her. That's true. <laughs> and then he... he- and returns her uh, after wiping her memory that's tr- oh it's so sinister in this context like, it's kidnapping it's drugging it's yeah he drugs her dude and then chris hansen tells him to take a seat over there yeah <laughs> well if all the star trek episodes had it's always sunny in philadelphia titles this would be data accidentally comes up <laughs> <laughs> so is she a wizard or what well you don't quite know yet what's going on with her they say very directly in this episode she's not a human yeah because she's been around for centuries yeah and they all know that i mean she's clearly part cat lady look at the fighting <laughs> stance she employs yeah q puts like a doctor strange wizard hand stance and she yeah. does like a kung fu claw stance yeah it's Tiger pretty claw. hilarious this scene that we're still on it has <laughs> the best line mm. in the whole series so far the borg they're about to meet or anybody no one is f-ing Mexican in this f-ing episode, oh, but he says, Con permiso, Capitan. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not like a prelude to like, oh, you're going to meet the Borg and they're f-ing Mexican, dude. <laughs> and they only speak in Spanish, dude. They all, no. they all teleport in with like sombreros yeah. on and they're like, that's why you said con permiso. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, for no reason at all. Wait, have we already seen him in a mariachi outfit? Is he going to show up in marriage, Evan? I feel that sounds really familiar. I feel like he already did, right? But basically, the captain's like, hey, we mean you no harm. We're cool here, man. And then the Borg are like scanning computers and shit. And then they send a guy. They send an underling. Yeah. It's funny because like Picard goes, Mr. Worf, take care of this. And a wharf turns to the other guy goes, yeah. And said, you take care of this. The other yeah. like, oh, okay. <laughs> He's like, I- I'm going to die, aren't I? <laughs> Your secret is safe with me. I'm a coward too. They go to a different room and they see the babies that are like, so they basically are cloning babies. And then as they grow, they make them into zombies. They put more parts on them. Yeah. I did think it was adorable that because they can't actually put all this shit on a baby. It's clearly like a little knit cap they put on it. And then with like a cable coming out and they put like a thing on his chest. And it's like, we're done. That's good. The babies can't stand still enough for us to put a bunch of makeup on. So Pulaski's like, oh, we'll we'll do the operation here. You know, like it's fine. And for some reason, I still don't understand why he doesn't want to do it. I don't understand. There's there's no real reason. Because it's like there is doctor patient confidentiality. She can't just go. I just saw Picard's while doing yeah, surgery yeah, like you yeah, can't dude she can't go around doing that is so that it's what like, he's scared of I that don't she's know. Into- <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> Apparently so. I think you're right, dude. I think he's going to be under. <laughs> She's going to p- take a peek at his <laughs> John Luke Picard, and he's going to find out that the little captain is not as big as the big captain and tell everybody. <laughs> We're going to get a f***ing hate meal. Well, I've done research in this, and it turns out that the captain has at least that we know of 13 inches. And- <laughs> <laughs> That's soft cannon. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Uh, sometimes hard cannon, but you know. Yeah, dude. Wesley, he's being very forward. He's like, why aren't you married? Don't you want kids? Like, it's like things your mother would ask you, you know? Like, yeah. When, when are you going to get married? It's like, no, I, I'm not thinking about that. Well, you know, you should think about having kids now, you know? <laughs> it's like, and it's weird because Picard responds like, oh, you know, when you're in a career path like me, you know, you have to watch your relationships carefully. You know, you can't yeah. just blah, blah. And he goes, how about you, Wesley? And Wesley has a really weird response where he goes, no problem. Where women are concerned, I am in complete control. Yeah, he's like, I got that on lockdown, dude. He's like, did you see that chick I was trying to bang, dude? <laughs> the wolf chick? <laughs> the, the Muppet monster? <laughs> the Muppet monster? <laughs> the traveler? <laughs> I got that on lockdown, dude. <laughs> the traveler uh, is trillions of light years away, and I still got him on lock. Yeah. He's <laughs> yeah, yeah. in all the quadrants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this episode starts off and the camera pans through the bridge and onto Worf. Mm -hmm. And this is very interesting because I recognize his face all the time. This is the face of a man who's got to take a (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and he's got a task to do or the bathroom's too public. Like you're yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. I bet you the bathroom is right off the bridge. And oh, if I'm the sure, door yeah. opens, all the smell comes out. And the, they know <laughs> oh, Worf was in there that fucking <laughs> didn't give us a courtesy flesh. That piece. <laughs> I mean, it's a Klingon. <laughs> imagine yeah. how strong yeah. it's very violent. Klingon <laughs> has got to be. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Like the rocks. <laughs> Uh, Because he eats all that chicken? Yeah, all the boiled chickens. (laughs) She does this weird thing where she's like, oh, we're both into each other. And then she starts slightly lifting up her skirt. Yeah, that's... She (laughs) literally shows him some ankle. She's like, like, you see? Absolutely scandalous. I can't believe they put this on television. (laughs) We skipped over a pretty good pickup line from Riker. Oh, Oh, what what was the pickup line? I forgot. I forgot. It's when Brenna says like, what's the matter? You've never seen a woman before? And he's like, I thought I had. (laughs) You, Deanna. (laughs) Yeah. They get a incoming message that someone's about to beam up and it's Loxana. And Picard's like, God, dude, she's going to tell me I have 30 thoughts about her. Yeah. Shame on you for thinking such a thing. It's possible he's always thinking about that about everyone. Yeah, and he's thinking about <laughs> like a scientist, dude. Like, I wonder what it'd be like to fuck Riker. Or Data. Yeah, what kind of ports does he have? Data, you are fully functional, aren't you? Of course. I am programmed in multiple techniques. So, the Betazoids, how menopause works is that they basically get really f-ing horned up. Yeah. And then Riker goes, oh yeah, Deanna explained it to me. You know, when this happens, she gets four times as horny. And she goes, or more. Or more. Never told me that. I didn't want to frighten you. And Riker just puts on this <laughs> sly smile that creeps across his face. He's like, let's see if I can handle it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then Lurch shows up from the f-ing Adam family. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's back. And he is a f-ing alcoholic, dude. This <laughs> yeah. Lurch guy. <laughs> pounds dude and that's a total callback to his first appearance as well he was pounding things left and right yeah Yeah. pounding a few cold ones and he hopes that he can pound a few cold ones so they finally catch up to the flying torpedo and then she takes off the cryogenic mask thing and it turns out it's a beautiful klingon you know Mm -hmm. and then she's like oh hello she kind of has a like a Catherine hepburn kind of like thing going (laughs) like a a transatlantic (laughs) accent (laughs) Yeah, she's like, well, hello there. I'm a Klingon. And I'm buzzing about. <laughs> buzzing about. <laughs> they start f-ing fighting these ghouls and they're winning. And then it cuts the commercial course. If you want to see the R version, you head over to UP. <laughs> you saying UP just reminded me that UPN actually was not one of the original networks to air it. Oh, it wasn't. But what about UP? <laughs> it was the launching series of UP. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd have to come up with the alternate name, the always the fun names that they come up with. Um, you don't have to. Look at the previous episode. It's called Manhunt. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> the big goodbye. That could be one easily. Yeah. Measure of a man. That's good. <laughs> hide and cue. Like yeah. hide the sausage, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Lonely Among Us. It's a solo scene, dude. <laughs> 
pen pals. Yeah. Where no one has gone before. That's an <laughs> one. <laughs> I tell you, these things write themselves. So they go to commercial and, and uh, when they come back, they're all dressed again. And then he starts doing his like Akuna Matata <laughs> chant. Yeah. And she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. She's like, whoa. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? It means no worries. <laughs> yeah. For the rest of your days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then Riker's got to pick like a few crew members that he's going to take over. And he goes to Worf. And Worf says, all you got to do is choose Guile. Guile. Yeah, yeah. He's like, pick the guy with the flat top. <laughs> Just get in the plane. <laughs> and then Riker says, who wants to go home? And who wants to <laughs> yeah. go with me? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah. yeah. And they're both about to leave Worf's yeah. quarters and walk out. But then yeah. as they open their door, they look down and there's a sandwich cut into the shape of SF <laughs> on the floor. We are going to beat Picard's <laughs> so hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up smash. Oh, Happy feet. Wombo combo. That ain't Falco. That ain't Falco. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Of me. Oh, oh my God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I busted him up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a little bit of heart. And basically, they're going to ride the wave of emotions and see if they can kill the virus, which is a very stupid idea for somebody who's a doctor in a of science. <laughs> you know I mean, it's all yeah. chicks that he's banged in the last two seasons. Banged and left. Yeah. So it was the Irish lady that kept moving the trash around. Yeah. It was the nightclub lady. And then the third one was the lady from the planet the one that was really impressed with data's junk oh my god wait was this the one with the skimpy outfits no 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 skimpy outfits was justice Riker did wear a skimpy outfit yeah but that's one skimpy outfit though you know the white fabric that like oh no that's that's a planet yeah oh, that's, okay. that's where everyone is like let's all just have and have massages do you have any idea how unuseful it is to refer to <laughs> every one of these planets as planets it's like no not that one it was a planet the other (laughs) planet it's a lot of planets yeah so basically she's like this man's gonna die (laughs) and they're like well (laughs) do you can i guess and then (laughs) the car just leaves like yeah yeah he he doesn't go i'm gonna be here for my friend's last moment and hold his hand in it (laughs) he just like turns around and walks away patrick stewart was like this is a clip show oh <laughs> so basically what happened is they spent too much money on the borg episode but also too much money on the sherlock holmes episode <laughs> which was a waste of money in my opinion <laughs> yeah, yeah. i'm just imagining the beginning of the episode beginning with like a black screen and the white text saying the following events happen entirely within the mind of william Riker." <laughs> <laughs> and it's just <laughs> Evangelion episode 2526. <laughs> Omedeto! 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 Arigato!